Freaky Jim. Jim. You are checking out Art the Road! Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Then, uh, after the release of the new opus, The Kitchen, Land of the Freaks, yeah, you are back first in, uh, in tour. Yes, you are. Yes. Uh, you started in Sweden mm -hmm. and you will finish in the south of Europe. Ah, we're going to continue. We, we played Scandinavia, and then, uh, but for now, the last show is in Bordeaux. We played Germany uh, last weekend. Now seven shows. Seven shows. Seven shows. Seven shows. Seven shows. Yeah. 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 So Bordeaux is the last one. Yeah. It's the last one. Yeah. Bordeaux. Yeah. And we come back for festivals. Hellfest. Yes, Hellfest in Two Nantes. festivals, yeah, and two festivals early June as well. So yes. you will hear more about us. And it's my, my first question. It's a lot of uh, dates of a concert. Yes. In France. Yes. It's uh, very nice. Yeah, like yes. Yes. Like France. France. Yes. Like like France. France. <laughs> and uh, what is what is the, the the part of France you prefer? Every all part. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's very 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 different part. And everything has good stuff. You know, the French is it's just a you're cool people. You know, you are good people. So you seem to enjoy the things that we are doing. Yeah, it feels like we get a connection. Yeah, very good connection. So that's why we enjoy all parts. My heart is in the big week for Paris. It's a beautiful city. I got engaged to Paris. Yeah. Uh, Bordeaux, for instance, has always been nice to us. I drank three mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> and got engaged? Yeah. Okay. I watched the, the, you know. Do you remember the girl? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that was to see. If I could remember the girl after the three mojitos, it was the right girl. <laughs> okay. Then, about Land of the Freaks. Then, let's talk about this album. How, why this name? As Bjorn, As he Bjorn. came up with it. Yeah? <laughs> because uh, it's, it's a little... You know, a little funny version of Land of the Free and Land of the Freaks because we're freaks and, and it can be any land, you know, any any land or country, but, but I mean, there are some freaky stuff going on right now everywhere, so which is incorporated in, in the lyrics and everything. But it's it's Land of the Freaks can be can be everywhere and it sounds uh, like a cool name. So, yes. Now how did you think about including Indian instruments in prescription songs? Yeah, um, the instruments are very much a flavor. Um, it's a good flavor. And I can't believe the sounds in this room as you're trying to come back to Niji. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we, we use a lot of uh, South Indian rhythms in some, some songs and, and with, uh, tonality and stuff like that. And uh, we've gotten to, to know uh, some really, really good Indian musicians over the years. and. Uh, it was just a very nice thing to, you know, ask them, would, would, you, would you actually like to play on this? Um, you were the guys who showed it to me in the first place, when, before I knew all this Karate stuff, and then we just, you know, we, <laughs> God, you want me to make something? Well, it's nice and quiet in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> um, murder groupie. Mm -hmm. You got a question on this song. How did you compose the, the first time, the first part? Do you mean the, the rhythm and stuff? Yes, yeah, the rhythm. Did, did, the you, did you write first? No, lyrics? not really. No, um, Murder Groupie, well, it's, it's divided into, I can't remember the name now, I, what was it? Uh, it's, it's in 316, 516, 7, 9, 11, and 13, 16. So you get 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, Yes. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. So it's a pattern. So, so it's uh, a pattern. It's yeah. a pattern that we made music from. But but you you wrote lyrics first, or, or you, you wanted to, to make uh, this uh, this uh, 
No, I think I think I had the rhythm structure first, and then wrote stuff around it. And uh, some parts of <clears throat> Murder Group is really hard hard to play, but also it's got a nice groove to it. I think we're, we're getting it under our skin now in a live situation because sometimes you have to separate mind and yeah. body and just oh when yeah. you play this and it's starting to feel good. Of course you can make mistakes, but it's a, it's a nice energy. <laughs> yeah, so. Alright. Stay with it. Yeah, it's good. Because I had one beer, it's yeah. just this leg is getting heavy. So. <laughs> yeah. You worked, you wrote and sing the only way. Beautiful song. Thank you. Is this a, a, a constant way of, uh, when you compose um, uh, an album uh, to, to include one song? With you, I just you hear you write many songs. Yeah, I write a lot of songs. Yes, yes but, but since, since who, who, you sing it. Yeah, I think it has evolved into that. I mean, he is a singer from the beginning. Yes, yeah. but he's actually used to, to say it's the only singer yeah, in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that should be the name of the song. The only singer. <laughs> the, only yeah. good, the only good song with a good singer. Yeah, he, he used to say that. He used to. Yeah, we sing it. He is the real. Yes, yes, yes. He's got a, a yeah. real great voice yeah. and. Uh, Do you remember uh, um, Raise of Flowers? Ray of Flowers. Yeah, yeah. Infidelity Ghost. Next one we could do two or three more. Chris songs. We'll see. Would be great. I mean, you yeah. should find natural songs yeah. that you can make in a freak way. I, I gave Matthias a lot of songs. I, did, I, did, I even did my own record. But that is a straight rock and roll record with a 4 4 and the nothing complicated at all. But I had a lot of songs and I had a need for writing songs. I did that before. I wrote a lot of songs. I was a lead singer and everything. But I, I didn't feel that need for, for actually many years. And then it all came over me. I just got a lot of songs. I just felt the need to, to, to write a lot of songs. So I gave Matthias a bunch of songs and uh, choose one for the album. I picked one and mm -hmm. started to work and then I heard another one. Yeah. No, no, no. I'll, I'll prefer this one. <laughs> yeah. It was like, yeah, okay. Take that yeah. one. So I kept like a bunch of songs and I made it. It has evolved into a thing, and I think that is that is okay. It's a nice. Balance. I think it's a nice to have one one song with a, with a different voice, with a different yes. as a pretty. I, of course, I write more simple stuff, but it, it could be a nice break. It is a nice break. So that song comes, and it's a different sound, different voice, different everything. And then you get back to the more freaky stuff, and you get a little room for breathing. And, uh, So I think it's pretty good with, with having yeah. one song. I Wait, think we should have one song, song for, with, <laughs> with Bjorn. Yeah, yes, yes, that would be great. Because he's actually yeah. turning into... You're singing sing too. Yeah, 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 he has yeah. turned into a real good singer. Yes. But they're always very, very... It's I hard with these guys, really. <laughs> but, you know, someday. Yeah. Yeah.